Thursday at Fisherman's Village Music Festival 2023 with R.C. himself, Brian Crowther. He helps. He's he's the fucking man. As far as like, when it comes to fishermen's, he's uh, he's pulling all the strings. He's getting everything going. And we just wanted to have a, you know, a few quick words with you. Uh, how are you feeling about the festival this year? Uh, this year's been good. Uh, I feel like uh, the weather, you know, is a big deal. Northwest. Early doing, summer, huh? Yeah. Doing a festival in May with outdoor components is, uh, you never know what you're going to get, so it's been fun. True. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've been very lucky. It's been super beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I think, uh, I think it's also, uh, just, it's the year 10. Yeah. And so, watching 10 years, uh, everyone celebrating 10 years has been, you know, people are feeling it, so, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Love to hear that. Uh, I know, like, talking to people who have been kind of alumni here and been back multiple years, it, it seems like things are really, like, shaping up in a good way. Like, not, not that it hasn't been before, but, like, there's this momentum, there's this, this energy to the town right now. And how, how do you feel about that? Like, do you, are you... Like, what, what's coming, and, like, where, where are you taking that momentum, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, back 10 years, we uh, were operating with a lot of ideas around activating spaces. And a lot of those were spaces that weren't open. They weren't businesses. They weren't, like, legitimate venues or anything. And, you know, 10 years later, we have... 750, 800 cap room in King's Hall. We have Apex Art Center, of course, with King's Hall and 1611. Uh, Black Love Gallery, Lucky Dime, and you know, we've used, God, probably 15 other spaces in the last 10 years, including Tony B's and others. And I, I think this year it's fun to celebrate uh, how far Everett has come. Yeah. 
but I think sometimes, nice. sometimes I think uh, people think you know we're we're like the producers, and I, I think we're just a thing that came up, and we wanted to come, you know, do our own thing. And man, I I hope there's you know lots more other folks who want to do things like produce events and curate and um, build things like we built. So it's a uh, community like Everett is, is right for, for that. So, yeah. Totally. Uh, you know, it sounds like when, when he and I kind of came about, it was uh, kind of a building process uh, last minute. Not last minute, but like you pulled it together and you were making this, uh, this certain like outfit for it to make it obvious. Um, you know, for, for the people out there who are starting something, yeah. uh, you know, on a shoestring budget with a, with a go ship crew, like, what's your suggestion? Like, like how do they, like, how, how has it been getting here from, from the thing? You know? Yeah. Um, man, I think just the, the biggest thing is believing in what you're doing, having uh, a crew that believes in it too. And then also just consistency is everything. Like we, uh, to be this, you know, 10 years, 11 years now ahead and um, just doing year after year of events and all that, like people start to pick up on it and they uh, all of a sudden know how to buy tickets and where to go. And, you know, the, the that's the biggest thing is just consistency. So sure, if you um, build it, they will come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, RC, I really appreciate you, you know, taking some time to talk to us. Of uh, course. You know, who, who are you really looking forward to seeing tonight? I know there's still a few more hours of the fest. Yeah. Uh, what's what's top of the list? Yeah, so Adia Victoria is playing right now, so I'm going to run upstairs and do that. Um, and then, yeah, drug dealer, Shannon and Lambs. Both, like, you know. Phenomenal picks, like. Yeah. Phenomenal lands for this festival. Huge, big yeah. time. Huge. Dark yeah. is one of my favorite bands. It's crazy they're playing around there. And then Bass Drum of Death last night, like, I've been trying to get Bass Drum of Death here since this whole thing started, so that was really, yeah, that was a momentous thing. I think I was going to say that. Um, just don't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I've been talking to a lot of people this week. It happens. Yeah, there's a tele. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I think also um, Pure Bathing Culture, they played the first year. They're from Portland. Amazing project. Um, I believe it's a husband and wife duo and with a crazy backing band. Um, but yeah, there's there's a ton of really good stuff. We um, also have Dougie Pool closing the night out. Yeah. And I just feel, feel like tonight is the night where Black Lab Gallery is just going to be to the gills. Uh -huh. Let's hope. Yeah, Automatic last night was really good. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah they were there. I got yeah. really good things oh, about them. Killer, but yeah, Dougie Pool is a uh, kind dude with doing really, really good uh, music. So that's gonna be fun tonight. Good. Yeah. Um, and, and last question, because you're really familiar with that room. Yeah. Uh, what what should I get for summer tonight? Oh man. So there's a uh, ten, twelve food trucks. That's and a good spot to go. There's some really good uh, Ryan's recipes. Uh, he's from uh, Tulalip Tribes and does some really, really good. It's the best burger I've ever had in my life. I'll just say that. Straight Be up. Better than Tony B's? It's the best burger I've ever had in my life. Straight Holy up. shit. Yeah. Wow. Um, I might have to go try that. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I would say... Um, there's a fried chicken truck. Okay. I've heard really good things. I, to be honest, I haven't gone there yet. But okay. My goal is to make it there. Yeah. By 10 o'clock. Yeah, you got a couple more hours. I know, exactly. <laughs> and I'm starving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. Uh, no, thank you so much for joining, Marcy. Yeah, thank you guys for doing this. Uh, yeah. It's fun to just see you all capture yeah. what's happening here. and um, It's for the culture. Yeah. And, you know, behind, uh, behind me is a huge team of folks who volunteered and spend a lot of time who hold this all together so I don't want to yeah. make sure they you know get their absolutely get their shine too yeah. you know you, you can't raise a, a man without a